There are 20 people running to fill seven seats that are up for grabs on the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education in districts that cover the entire state. They are four-year terms and members do not get a salary, health benefits, or retirement. We sat down with some of the candidates to ask them why they're running and what they plan to do to improve Louisiana's struggling education system. I'm an educator. Mm -hmm. I want Louisiana to be the best place on earth for students to learn and for teachers to teach. And I believe that in my position on Bessie, I can contribute to making that happen. Holly Bofi, an incumbent from Youngsville, represents District 7. Bofi is vice president of Louisiana's Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. The former middle school teacher was named Teacher of the Year in 2010 and says the experiences she had as Teacher of the Year motivated her to run for Bessie. We are moving in the right direction, but we're not finished. We have a long way to go. We're very proud that we had um, over 80% of students graduate from high school last year. That 80% goal had been a goal for a long time, but now we're working towards 90%. I'm running for our state school board because in 1974, our constitution made a promise to the children and families of this state. They promised a public education system that was humane, a public education system that was just, and a public education system that was designed to promote excellence. East Feliciana Parish teacher and assistant principal Jonathan Lovall says it's important that the policies that Bessie puts in place are aligned with what the Constitution promises. Looking at state testing, we know um, right now in Louisiana that an eight-year-old child must spend more time taking state tests to determine if she's mastered the standards of third grade than I had to take to see if I was ready to go to graduate school. And working in a schoolhouse every day, I know firsthand that despite the hard work of our teachers, hard work of our school boards, our state school board, and our Louisiana Department of Education, too often, particularly for the most vulnerable children in our state, our children from economically disadvantaged backgrounds and our children with disabilities, our state's too often not fulfilling that promise. He says he would begin by trying to help those students who need it the most. It's not nearly enough to, to, to care. It's also about knowing what policies and practices from Bessie and the Louisiana Department of Education are keeping us from fulfilling that constitutional promise. Also running hoping to win a seat at the Bessie table is Shakisha Webb Scott. I am running for a position on Bessie to have a voice to make the changes that are needed, that are challenging our kids um, from day to day, doing the work as the leader of Impact it's a Community School in Baker, I'm seeing the challenges and the inconsistencies that are hurting our kids. As an educator for several years and founder of a charter school, Webb Scott says over the years, children in the state have suffered even more academically because of inconsistencies and major changes in policies and practices from year to year. Well, for example, for the last five years, the curriculum has changed multiple times. The state standards have changed. If you can think back under the general administration, when something called Common Core was brought in and there was a really big uproar about it, teachers, we brought it in, teachers got trained on it, they adapted to it, then the very next year they changed it to something else, then they changed it again. And when we change what they're supposed to learn instead of building on it from year to year, is actually confusing them and delaying the learning process. Preston Castile hopes to use his strong educational background and experience as an attorney and professor as a member of Bessie. I had wonderful teachers and the education that I got in the public school system changed my life. I'm now a lawyer, but been practicing 25 years. I've been teaching law school at LSU and Southern for the last 18 years. I've been a judge and, and I've seen what's happened in the system and I understand the power of education and how it can change the lives of young people. Castile's throwing his hat in the ring in a crowded field for the District 8 seat. Castile joins Veretta Lee Tanner, former school board member in East Baton Rouge Parish, teacher Jonathan Lovall, and teacher administrator Shakisha Webb Scott, all hoping to replace Jada Lewis, who decided not to seek re-election. Castile says he'll focus on finding and supporting education policies that work. Bessie is the state's top policy-making board, and those policies have consequences. I recognize that the policies that we make can change the lives of children. 
whether we have strong early childhood education programs, whether we start from the cradle and take kids to college and career, whether we have a comprehensive educational system or not, those choices, again, will have an impact. Castile says there's a reason Louisiana lags behind nearly every state in education. It's a combination of having strong policy, but also understanding the interconnection between the education system and other systems, because deep-seated poverty in this state has an impact on educational outcomes. Holly Bofi says she'll rely on her leadership experience on Bessie to move the needle. She says early intervention is key to the success of Louisiana students. She says she'll continue to push for policies that work for all children in the Bayou State. We've had to overcome um, mindsets as far as uh, where we are as a state. When we get everyone to the place of saying, not only can all children learn, but they deserve to learn, and if we have to do things differently to make that happen, then we're committed to doing it. Three members of Bessie are appointed to at-large positions by the governor and must be approved by the legislature. A reminder, Election Day is Saturday, October 12th.